Charleston wine and food enthusiasts now in town, this week's issue of the Charleston City Paper looks at ethical eating. That's the practice of how you source your food and eat in ways that have minimal impacts on the environment, support local businesses, and encourage animal welfare. Writer Helen Mitternight looks at whether ethical eating is possible or practical in Charleston. Hello again from the Charleston City Paper, I'm Chloe Hogan. Thank you for joining us today for this weekly news update. In this week's news section, reporter Skylar Baldwin reports on the bipartisan bills in the State House that seek to protect in vitro fertilization, following an Alabama court decision that's got a lot of people frightened. Jack O'Toole looks at how an anti-vaccine proposal could impact future health treatments in the state and how antiquated cosmetology laws are being challenged. Herb Frazier profiles a revamp of the historic Charleston Foundation's annual celebration of homes and gardens in the Charleston Festival. In our editorial section, we share concerns about scammers who seem to be on the rise and separating you from your money and how you can protect yourself. Editor Andy Brack offers a column on a dangerous energy bill at the State House that could cause serious harm to the beauty of the Ace Basin in Colleton County. Also this week is our monthly dig section in which Connolly Hardaway profiles Queen Street grocery entrepreneur Rob Booten and his zest for life. Columnist Tony Reel suggests eight flowers to plant this spring. In food, Hardaway offers a great story on a new Chinese restaurant called the Exo Brasserie in the Nomo part of Charleston. In art, new contributor Ryan Biddix schools us on some new outdoor Shakespeare performances at Ashley Hall, and Kevin Wilson shares info about a new music single by Noah Jones. Remember again to get your votes in during final voting in the 2024 Best of Charleston contest. To vote, just head over to bestof.charlestoncitypaper.com. Pick up a copy of the City Paper at one of 800 locations in the area. You can also visit us online anytime at charlestoncitypaper.com to get more of the latest news and funny cartoons by Steve Stieglin and Robert Ariel, as well as a killer crossword puzzle and our weekly music list. Also, Tune in here every week and at thepalmettonetwork.com for this news update from the Charleston City Paper, as well as the latest episode of Two Old Farts Reminiscing About the 80s with hosts Cliff Springs and Kelly Nash. Thank you for watching. I'm Chloe Hogan. <laughs>